so we realized that hey, even as we pivot from a P2P concept to a B2C or B2B concept, uh, the vision still remains uh, uh, the same, right? Is to help consumers be able to find, discover, and rent consumer products for short term use on demand, right? Without the need to pay a lot of money for it and then have it just sit in your house, right? All right, welcome to Your Great Story. Um, today, I'm very excited to have uh, Wei Chang with us to share his story. Uh, hi, Wei Chang. Welcome to the show. Hi, Eric. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, thank you for taking time uh, of a busy schedule to be with us. Um, just to start off, uh, maybe what we'll do is imagine we don't know each other, right? How would you introduce yourself? I have six years experience building digital products. Uh, I used to run my own team of uh, UI UX designers and also developers. So uh, we were serving directly to MNC client, SME clients, um, and um, I was also CTO for hire for two startups that went on to raise uh, seed funding round. Uh, after that, I moved on to uh, uh, have uh, three years experience in UX education. So that's my professional background. Um, I Me mean, personally, you know, my 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 interests are. Uh, typical, a very typical Singaporean male interest, you know, soccer um, and uh, in this kind of hobbies, lah, right? Gaming, you know. So, nothing too interesting on the personal aspect of me. I'm just a, a typical guy on the street, you know. <laughs> nice, typical guy on the street uh, that founded the company that is super interesting. Uh, tell us more about uh, the company that you're running. Yes, so uh, I'm I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Lendor. So uh, Lendor itself is an on-demand rental platform for consumer products. And uh, our initial focus is electronics. Uh, what we do here is to enable consumers to rent directly from retail and uh, rental partners while our, our technology actually take care of the entire uh, process uh, from insurance, logistics, to, to communications, etc. Um, and um, yeah, I, I currently they're available. The services are available on uh, Lendo.sg, and uh, we have also have a mobile app as well. Yeah. Nice. So um, it's more of rental of items, right? Yes. Cool. Cool. Interesting. So I mean, we I see a lot of um, you know portals for rental of properties, you know, rental of cars, uh, but definitely not so much of rental of things. So just to understand, you know, how did this concept of uh, Landor come about? Yes, yeah, so it started actually um, uh, way back in 2017, conceptualized quite quite long ago. Uh, so me and my co-founder, uh, who, who, who is actually my wife, um, we, uh, we had this idea when we went to Honeymoon, right? So we saw that we went to Europe for honeymoon. There were uh, neighborhoods where they have stores where people can rent things from, right? Uh, not exactly renting, but but it's, it's it's a bit different. You can go in and, and borrow it, so it's almost like almost free, So it's a community project. So we thought, hey, how about we digitize this experience here in Singapore? Because uh, both myself and her, we we were we actually have a lot of stuff, right? Ladies have a lot of clothing, you know, and guys we have a lot of gadgets, right? So. You know, being, being husband and wife coming together, setting up a new home, we're just thinking, hey, it's just so much stuff that we have, you know. Um, then we then we thought, hey, this concept is really good, you know, like whatever we have, we can just share it with people around us. So that's the whole whole vision, right? It, it essentially, is to, um, and, and we, we reflected a bit, you know, like my my um, my wife was like thinking, you know, the clothes that she doesn't wear anymore, just sitting there. And I also have a lot of gadgets, you know, at one point I had, you know, pretty much every game console uh, in the market, but, you know, just, just not using them. So we're just thinking how we can, you know, extend the mileage of, of these products, right? So over the last couple of years, actually, we've been reducing a lot of stuff, you know, just relying on Landor and other services to, you know, keep keep a very, a more minimal lifestyle, but at the same time, you know, it, it doesn't uh, compromise our quality of life. We still get access to the things we need, right? Um, that we want to use, so that's how uh, it all came about, right? So that was back in twenty seventeen, uh, when we launched. It was a community project, right? So we, we didn't think about trying to make a business out of it. It was like community 
trying to get people to sign up and uh, and, and upload their, their things. So it was more P2P experience. Uh, fast forward, um, today it's a bit different. It was, uh, we, we launched last year uh, from this experience running as a P2P community project help us understood the market better. Hey, hey if you want to monetize it, what the different angles that uh, we can go in from and we discover that actually there are a lot of businesses in this uh, category right and and also a lot of businesses having the same uh, issues that we face as individuals right um, but for them what their problem statement was having a lot of uh, inventory access inventory and it's just being kept in the in the storeroom right so 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 we realized that hey even as we pivot from a p2p concept to a b2c or b2b concept uh, the vision still remains uh, uh, the same, right? Is to help consumers be able to find, discover, and rent consumer products for short-term use on demand, right? Without the need to pay a lot of money for it, and then have it just sit in your house, right? And to to you know what we call the uh, help helping consumers decouple from this uh, linear economy, right? Let's talk about linear economy for a little bit, right? Um, and tell us more about. You know, uh, linear economy versus uh, even the sharing economy that is kind of you know picking up this past five to ten years or even fifteen years, right? So, tell us yes, more about this yes. economy. Yeah. So this whole linear economy, it's um, if you think about, um, you know, when we buy stuff, whether it's e-commerce or retail, right? It's about um, it didn't just appear there, right? It takes certain bio resources to create that product. So is this whole take, you know, we 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 take. Uh, resources from the earth, we make it and then we, we sell it. After that, we use it at the end of the lifespan, it gets disposed. So it's very linear, right? In that sense. Uh, of course, a lot of jobs created in between, right? When, let's say, an Apple iPhone, for example, they recently just released uh, from logistics to manufacturing. Um, by the end of the, the lifespan, is always just throwing it away. So, um, of course, in uh, uh, now daily lives, we Myself and, and my wife, we try to be a little bit more uh, eco-conscious, right? I think there's a greater awareness amongst the, the the generation in Singapore, right? And we're just thinking, hey, you know, it's, it's actually very, if you think about this, it's actually not sustainable. So, and we hear a lot more on how, uh, instead of having a linear economy, can we have a circular economy, right? Or can we have a sharing economy where resources are put together um, there are reports, you know, saying that potentially circular economy by 2030 can be a three, $3 trillion dollar uh, industry, right? So, um, of course, circular, circular economy is just looking at the life cycle from production all the way to dispose. What are the opportunities there, right? Of course, we are in that space to maximize the use of that uh, particular product, right? So, we always consider ourselves uh, part of the circular economy because we can help uh, uh, later, I think I'll probably share some examples of customers as well. We can help consumers decouple from that that mindset. You know, I think uh, nine nine is just over, right? People buy a lot of stuff already. Then we have ten ten, and of course eleven eleven. A lot of stuff you realize you buy it just sits at home. You don't really use that much. And then uh, sharing services. I think sharing economy is uh, over the last couple of years thrive in Singapore. You know, bike sharing. Uh, I just want to share an example: bike sharing, car sharing, home sharing. I think these are all very good initiatives, not just helping the economy, but uh, in some sense also reducing our car carbon uh, footprint as well. 